God freaking damn it, I'm narrating this thing for the third time. Please work out, I am getting tired. So anyway, here we go with a double battle against Dust Tox King. And I lead off with this Magius and Politoed. He leads off with this little camel and a little pointy fish that's probably going to poke me in the eye. I go for a ball of shadows on his camel that does pretty good damage while his fish starts doing some kind of prostitution and swaggers me, which is really odd because it's a male doing it to a female. I think it should be the other way around, but I'm not one to complain. Politoed is... Feeling constipated after eating all those burritos and blah, takes a poop on that quillfish, which is super effective because everybody knows the best move in a battle is taking a poop on your opponent, which is super effective with a choice specs on it for the win because pro, my friends, pro. And uh, he goes into a wormadam and sets up spikes and rocks are being thrown in the air and poop is flying everywhere. This battle is already getting intense. Make sure you bring your gas masks. <coughs> Damn, smell of poop. <coughs> making me cough. <coughs> Venusaur, go do something. But no, you get hurt by sparks. Scarlet, attack. No, okay, you're going to attack yourself. Fine, be an idiot. So um, anyway, the quillfish starts water falling. The wormadam starts throwing leaves. Both are missing and things are going haywire in this epic battle of epicness and poop. And Scarlet is bitch slapping herself in the face like an idiot. Your pimp daddy says, go attack. Listen to your pimp daddy, Scarlet, or no money for you, bitch. So anyway, he's going to waterfall me now, which hits, and it's going to do a lot. And Scarlet is within KOing range. And I'm just like, God, what the hell, Scarlet? Come on. I wanted to set up a skill swap water absorb strategy that was going to be epic, but the swagger is just like throwing things off. So I go into back into my polytoad, and I'm going to shoot a ball of shadow, which thankfully hits as Scarlet finally decides to get her act together. The camel starts shooting fire at me which misses and fire blast misses which was sucks for him but what can he do so he's gonna switch out and I'm expecting a water attack I am just gonna go and uh, attract the Clefable and set up my own type of prostitution now I'm gonna go for the hydro pump because I don't know I well it still does pretty good damage to that worm dam but obviously being part grass it resists it so um, balls of shadows are gonna be thrown back at me I eat a little berry that's useless that would have saved me but no dice for scarlet so you go down Bloody bitch, go down. So um, I go into Venusaur now, who's going to start tanking things like crazy. Um, because, yeah, and I'm going to switch out, go into Arcanine, expecting another grass attack because I don't want Polytoad to take that, obviously. Spikes and rocks are going to really hurt me. Ow. So um, I get like in a useless intimidate on that little thing with beady eyes. And uh, he's going to switch into a Rolento, who's going to do something very bad to me. And I'm going to set up Light Screen because I figure that a lot of his attackers are probably. Uh, while well, a lot of his Pokemon are special attackers, so Light Screen is definitely going to benefit me. And Venusaur and Arcanine, man, they're like the MVPs of this battle because they make an awesome team. I mean, you have Fire, you have Grass, Bloody Hell working together as one. It's going to pawn, man. Watch this. Camera up is going to come in and be like, Camera up, I'm going to do something, you bitch. And I'm like taking extreme speed to the face and shut up. So he starts uh, Silver Wind, throwing Winds of Silver or Silver's Winds. I don't know what the hell to talk what's going on. I'm just trying to leech seed something and get some energy back. And, um,. Yeah, that camera opt I'm not too worried about is going to go down because two extreme speeds combined with Giga Drain is just going to rape that camel, and I'm not too worried because uh, he's going to go for some hidden power that he studied in the Shaolin Temple, which is probably ground, and is still not going to KO me because your Shaolin Temple training is no match for my screen of light, buddy. Now take a Giga Drain to the face and get out of here, and um, Leech Seed your energy because that's so cool and that is pro, my friends, as the epic... Pokemon players of New Barb Town would say. There are no epic players in New Barb Town, I just didn't have anything else to say. So he goes into this little hyena thing that intimidates me, which I find pretty hilarious because its face is ugly and it's hiding behind that bug's ass. <laughs> so I burn it with Will O Wisp. I'm like, take that, buddy! You need a burn! And your Ice Fang can't do anything to me because Venusaur is beast. Because pro, as they say. Now let's see what your Shaolin Temple training does, Mr. Little Rolento. You can't do anything to me as my Leech Seeds drain your energy. And Leech Seed is just going to tank this thing crazy, man. Gonna, like Burn and Leech Seed is definitely going to um, handle that Mightyena pretty well. I'm not too concerned about Mightyena at all now because it's burned. It can't do anything to me. Uh, Flamex goes down, unfortunately, because Rolento finally gets the hidden power off. And Flamex goes down. But no matter. You did well, Flamex. You did your job burning that Mightyena. He's going to try to howl and intimidate me like that, but I'm not going to take it, because that burn is going to screw you up, Mr. 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 Mightyena, whose name I cannot pronounce. 
So anyway, back to the battle. Venusaur is doing epic and hanging in there really well. I'm going to my Quacker Lot, who's going to ride that surf all over your ass. And I'm going to switch back into Toadette, who's going to obviously benefit from Water Absorb. And um, I'm hoping to get a double KO here on his Venomoth and Mighty Enna, but the surf is just going to take out the Mighty Enna, actually. But it does pretty good damage to the Venomoth. Mighty Enna is going to go down, so get out of here, buddy! And... Toadette is going to heal up, heal up with Water Absorb, but the Leech Seed is going to drain that Venomoth of its energy, so boom, down you go. And uh, things are looking pretty good, so he switches out into his Mariachi and his little Kaflebu, whose name I'm not even going to bother pronouncing, and I switch out expecting a Grass Attack and go back into Venusaur, who's getting sore of all this Stealth Rock and Spike looks going on and hurting him. Hurting her in the ass. And I shoot an Ice Beam that doesn't quite KO the Wormadam, which is like, oh boy, are you kidding me? Uh, I get Shadow Ball, I get thrown, leaves get thrown at me, which is like, okay, I don't know how that hurts me, but leaves, oh my gosh, they must be very dangerous. To... Don't play with, forget about playing with matches, folks. Don't play with leaves, you can hurt someone badly. So I go into Toadette now, and Venusaur is going to throw a some sludge at that thing and finally take that bloody thing out and Toadette is just gonna be like, hey, super soaker time? Boom! Hydro pump in your face. Yes, here is my super soaker. <laughs> that beats your stupid little nerf toy, doesn't it, you pathetic Clefable whose name I cannot pronounce, but I don't care. And I'm gonna giga drain your energy and beat you. So, <laughs> good game, Dustlax King, and hope you guys enjoyed this battle. And I'll have some updates posted soon in another video or so, so please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos, and have a good day.